This is Biology 223, um, Russell, Chapter 14, Gene Mapping Eukaryotes, a Problem 31 Done Backwards, Part 3. So we had just finished uh, calculating the um, third class of, of, of progeny, um, that is the mid frequency single crossing over. So um, let's continue and do um, now the, the least frequent single crossing over, same method. So we will draw the four strand stage of the linkage group with B plus D, A plus C from one of the uh, female parents, the parents, and B, D plus, A, C plus. So this is what she looks at the four strand stage. And because we've already calculated here the, um, the, the, the um, this would be the most frequent, so this is the most frequent single crossing over between B and D because that's 5.5 map units, the mid 4.3, so it's going to be between A and C at uh, 2.7 map units. So let's see how that's going to work out. So we expect to see B plus D, A plus, C plus. So we expect to see B plus D, A plus, C plus, and it's reciprocal which is going to be then B, D plus A, C. So B, D plus A, C, and those should be reciprocal, yes. And from that, we can uh, determine, we can write out the quadruplet of this class. would be these four at 2.7% or 27 out of 1,000. So that's the three most frequent, uh, those are the three classes resulting from single crossing over. So let's now look at the other remaining classes. I'm gonna speed up because um, I want to finish in this part. So 14.31 backwards. Now we're uh, in the third part. So I still need to know this. I still need to know B plus D A plus C over B D plus A C plus E over E plus. I need to know that and I need to know the distances which are 5.5, 4.3, and 2.7. So, if that, if we calculated the three single crossing over events, we're going to imagine now there has to be a, a double crossing over. There's going to be three double crossing overs, as I said before, here, here, and here. So, what's that going to be? The most common, so the most common, most frequent uh, double crossing over is going to be between B and D and A. B and D and D and A, 5.5 and 4.3. So how do we do that? Let's do it the same way we did for the other ones. Dry out the four-strand stage, B plus D, A plus C, B, B, I did that wrong, sorry. That's B, D plus A, C plus. And now we're going to have two crossing over between B and D and between A and C. So we do this this way, B plus, D plus, A plus, C. That's B plus, D plus, A plus, C. And it's reciprocal, which is going to be then here, B, D, A, C plus, B, 
d a c plus. So if we uh, consider the independent assortment of the other linkage group with E, we're going to see B plus D plus A plus E, B plus D plus A plus E plus. I did something wrong here. Sorry, that's C, E, C, E plus, and B, D, A, C plus E, B, D, A, C plus E plus. And these together are going to occur at a frequency of 0 0.055 from the B, D times 0 0.043. Um, and so that's about 1 in 20 times 1 in 20, 1 in 400. So that would be about 2.5% uh, uh, of the time. Um, let's see, I calculated that uh, somewhere. That's going to be, uh, that's going to be in my useful cheat sheet somewhere. It's going to be um, occur at uh, 0.25, that was my estimate, and so it's 0 0.2365 percent. Okay, that number, it doesn't have that precision, it's ridiculous. So how frequent is that in a thousand? That's about uh, two per thousand, and you notice that, well, we might or might not see that. We might see two of these, we might see none of these, we might we see each of these. We, we, we might not have that. And in the book, indeed, when showing us the progeny, this class isn't represented. The book has, it is problem 31. Let me, let me just mark that here for you. Uh, we see in the book, you can see that uh, the first four leads a parental, then we have a single crossing over, and then we have a single crossing over, and a single crossing over. So we have the other classes that are not shown are double crossing over, double crossing over, double crossing over, and triple crossing over. So these are not shown. Of the 32 possible, only 16 are shown. Why are they only shown? Because oh, you might imagine that in observing a thousand progeny, uh, we don't see things that are very rare. And this is quite rare. Okay, so that was... Um, that was uh, part six, so that was part seven. Uh, let's look now at the next. So let's just, let's just move through this. This is the mid-frequent double crossing over, and we're going to see it do the same thing. And we have B plus D, A plus C, B, D plus A, C plus. And we will expect then that the second most common is going to be crossing over. We did 5.5 and 4.3, now it's going to be 5.5 and 2.7. So it's going to occur here and here. And so we have B plus D, A plus C. So that's B. D plus, sorry, that was B plus, D plus, A, C, and its reciprocal is going to be B, D, A plus C, B, D, A plus, C plus, sorry, C plus, and those are reciprocal as expected, and we can uh, show that here, longhand D plus A, C, E, B plus D plus A, C, E plus B, D, A plus C plus E, B, D, A plus C plus E plus. And this then is going to be 0 0.055 times 0 0.0027. Um, uh, frequency and uh, that will be uh, that will be I calculated that somewhere uh, about um, 1.4 the sum of that 1.4 thousand so we might or might not see one that's fine and then 
the um, least least most uh, least most common double crossing over. Let's do it this way. Same as before. We have B plus D, A plus C, B, D plus A, C plus. We're going to see then that least frequent is going to be between D and A at 4.3 and A and C here. So we have B plus D, A, C. B plus D, A, C. And it's reciprocal, which is going to be B, D plus, B, D plus, A plus. C plus. And we can write that out longhand, but uh, let me do that. B plus D A C E, B plus D A C E plus B D plus A plus C plus E, B D plus A plus C plus E plus. Um, now let's do the last class, which is going to be triple crossing over. So this is going to be, I'm sorry I'm hurrying here, but I want to fit this in the 15 minutes so we can do this in three parts. So we draw again this B plus D A plus C, the parent, which is undergoing meiosis, draw a four strand stage. And now we're going to consider triple crossing over, which will occur between here, 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 and here, here. So we have B plus, D plus, A plus, C plus, so B plus, D plus, A plus, C plus, and the reciprocal of that, we'll do in uh, blue ink here, B, B, D, A, C, B, D, A, C, and you can see the author designed this to save the um, plus, 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 and the no, 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 no. Uh, for the least frequent. So we will see B plus D plus A plus C plus E, B plus D plus A plus C plus E plus B, D, A, C, E, B, D, A, C, E plus this group, and the frequency will be 0 .0, uh, 0 0.055 times 0 0.043 times 0 0.027, and that frequency I calculated is something about 0 0.0639 per thousand, which is ridiculous precision, so less than one in 10,000. We would never expect to see that. Okay, so now we've accounted for all possible progeny genotypes, which are phenotypes, the phenotypes that we observe, they represent the genotypes of the gametes made by the female undergoing meiosis. We've accounted for all 32, 32 of them, and we've seen that the 16 most frequent ones are the ones that show up in the, in the problem, and the other ones don't show up. We probably would have seen, if this were real, we would have seen some of those double crossing overs, but it's neglected for the point of the problem. Okay, I will stop.